Hi students, today's topic is about evolution in gaseous exchange system. Earth is a blessed planet with many living organisms. All the living organisms right from unicellular organisms to multicellular organisms, every organisms breathe, they respire. Respiration is a very important process in the life process in amongst all the life process of a living organism. Earth is a blessed planet to have many living organisms to live on the earth. Right from unicellular organisms to the multicellular organisms, each and every living thing has to respire. Respiration is very important for a living thing to survive on the earth. If you take example, the unicellular organisms, they are made up of single cell. So, the single cell itself performs all the life processes like digestion, excretion, circulation, etc. So, all the life processes are being done by the single cell itself. Even the respiration is also done by the single cell. So, in the unicellular organisms, the organisms which are having single cell. So, the single cell itself performs all the life processes. So, even respiration is also done by them. So, the respiration in the single cell organisms like amoeba, euglena, paramecium, etc. is by diffusion. When we talk about the multicellular organisms, as they are having many number of cells and the body is well built, they have got different organ systems to perform different functions. So, it depends upon the habitat to the place where they are living and also to the body size and they have got different organs to perform different functions. When we talk about the insects like grasshopper and cockroaches, these grasshoppers and cockroaches, they have got the special type of trachea. So, the trachea is present for them. So, these tracheoles are helpful for respiration. So, this type of respiration, we call it as tracheal respiration. Trachea, which consists of a series of fine branches of tubules called as tracheoles, which carry air directly to the cells, from the cells to the tissues. Tracheoles carry air directly to the cells to the tissues. If you take example about the fishes, that is, they respire with the help of gills. We know that fishes respire. fishes respire with the help of gills. This type of respiration is called as branchial respiration. In fishes, the blood is supplied to the gills, which are thin walled. In fishes, the blood is supplied to the gills through capillaries which or thin walled where the exchange of gaseous takes place. In fishes, the blood is supplied to the gills through capillaries which or thin walled. The respiration through skin is called as cutaneous respiration. Example frog. Frog is an amphibian which lives both on land and water. So it respires with me by means of the skin in the water and on the land it respires with the help of the lungs. Hence, in frog, we call that respiration as bucoferential respiration. In terrestrial animals like reptiles, apes and mammals, they respire by means of lungs. The terrestrial animals like reptiles, apes and mammals respire by means of lungs. This type of respiration is called as pulmonary respiration.